Hello, this is part two um, of my story. Um, depending on how my youngest acts, I can hear him awake singing the song of his people from his room. This was, this might have to be really short, but um, I had stopped in August. I saw a sleep doctor. Um, I then went and saw another, just a uh, family medicine doctor. And um, he once again said that I was fat. And um, I was asking about joint pain, could be obesity. Uh, I was five foot, five foot two and a half. Um, and I weighed about 205, 210 pounds, which is a lot for a little person, a short person. Um, he didn't run any more blood work to check my inflammation or ESR, CRP levels, nothing. Um, he prescribed me gabapet and, and more pain medication for the pain. Um, he also said to go see a podiatrist, uh, continue with physical therapy, um, chiropractic care. Uh, so he really was of no help. He called any testing, further testing would be unnecessary testing is what he referred to it as. Uh, I kept trying to go to the chiropractor and the chiropractor could not adjust me. My body, the muscles would not, I was guarded is what they call it. The muscles would not relax enough, even with muscle relaxers, they wouldn't relax enough for him to adjust me. Um, the physical therapy I felt made things worse. Um, and there were so many areas, areas of my body, my feet, I was doing acup acupuncture, my feet, um, my knees, my hips, my back, my shoulders, um, my hands, um, my neck, um, it all hurt. Um, I started swelling up a lot again. I went and saw another doctor. This doctor actually, um, listened to me. She, um, I'm sorry, I'm getting all these. Uh, she listened. She actually listened. Um, she set up some um, uh, x-rays and MRIs. I had had an L-spine x-ray done already that showed nothing. Um, she set up to have an L-spine MRI. Um, she did a C-spine and T-spine. She wouldn't be reevaluated for rheumatoid arthritis. She ran more blood work. Um, she... talked about physical therapy, talked about maybe finding a new physical therapist, talked about um, wanting me to be evaluated for MS. Um, so I had been hurting for so what felt like forever at the time. And um, I was so swollen in my chest, my ribs, and my upper back. Um, I would have done it, just anything. Um, she wanted me to take antidepressants, antidepressants. And I said, no, I, I'm not depressed. My situation is depressing. I don't want to mask what I'm feeling. I want to find out what's causing it. Um, so I went, I had the scans done. Um, I went, I couldn't get into rheumatoid. I was hesitant about seeing a rheumatologist, uh, but I did get into see neuro. I, um, in the blood work, it showed that I was really low on vitamin D. Um, it, did, it did show slightly elevated ESR and CRP levels. Again, not as elevated as they were before. Um, the C-spine MRI did show that I had three, um, two slip discs and one herniated disc in my C-spine. So I was like, okay, maybe this is counting for all the pain throughout my body. Um, she... Um, I went to see neurologist. The neurologist found really nothing. Um, he, in his notes at one point, it said that I was giddy. And then at another point in his notes, it says that um, I had severe depression. I was giddy at one of the sessions because on the side of my um, calves, they're really sensitive. And uh, he has to had to stab me with these little needles. So he stabs me. And I'm laughing because he's tapping me with these needles. And um, and then I'm laughing even harder because I'm being stabbed and I'm laughing about it like because it tickled. <laughs> so I was laughing about it. So yeah, I was giddy. Um, no, it was funny and it is funny. Um, but then at our last appointment that I sat with him, he found nothing and um, 
he said that I needed to see a psychiatrist, that it was all in my head. Uh, brought up fibromyalgia again, and I argued that fibromyalgia is a psychosomatic disorder, and there are no lab tests, there are no physical actual signs that you can see. So why did I have this swelling? Why did... It didn't add up. I wasn't saying that fibromyalgia is not a thing that happens, but I was definitely saying this isn't fibromyalgia. Um, so I was still having, um, let's see, so now we're getting into January um, of this year. Um, I had had, through that time I had such pain, I, like I said, on my feet, I had times where I, I just couldn't walk. I had to rest, I was limping, I had a limp. Um, I could, couldn't pick up my kids, my baby, who is, he's about to turn two. Um, because the pain some days were just so bad. I was so tired all the time. I'm still tired. Just daily things, just daily life is hard. Um, but January 3rd, 2020, so January of this year, I took a nap and I woke up and um, I, I felt a little better. Um, it had actually been six months and I, since I had stopped breastfeeding my youngest um, and I think that my hormone level actually may have gone up a little bit and maybe that's why I felt better I don't know but I went to um, our park and I had been walking trying to walk a couple times a week around the park and I couldn't make it around the park one time not even once without something hurt or I was just so tired I'd have to stop and then try to make it home you know not a humongous park by any means. Well, I went that day, January 3rd, and I walked for a mile. And I was like, I need to stop. I'm going to hurt myself. I don't know what happened. I had the energy. I wasn't hurting. Like, it was awesome. I, I could walk. And so since then, I have been trying to keep that up. I was like, okay, I don't know what this is. I don't know what caused it, but I have some energy. I don't I don't feel like I'm going to die. Um. I focused on working out, losing more weight. I had lost some weight at that time. Um, tried to change my my eating I, to clean eating, just healthy eating, uh, eating foods that would uh, give me nutri nutritious foods that would help me. Um, April 2020, I was still having symptoms. I started seeing a, um, oh, I actually, during that time, I, I saw a um, pain management doctor also so I had c-spine injections which now looking back I wish I hadn't done but I needed to do something they really did not help me but I had c-spine injections um, he wanted to do injections in my hip he wanted to do injections in my ribs um, just injections everywhere um, I did do the c-spine injections because uh, I, I was really hoping that that was the issue um, and then in in January, I started feeling better. Um, things weren't perfect by any means, but I, I just felt a little better. Um, I still had some issues, but I was determined to stop going to the dang doctor and to figure it out myself. Um, in April, and actually that's where I'm going to stop in... Um, because I'm going to have a portion of this where it's just about female things. And if there's any male listeners, I don't know if you're comfortable listening to it. Um, this isn't about just female hormones. It's also, it's all hormones. My hormones crashed. My, I had my tubes tied and um, it told my body to just stop making hormones in general. Hormones control everything in your body. Your hair. Your appetite, your eyesight, your hearing, your skin tone. If you can see, my skin tone is off. Um, I've had my hair brown. I've had my hair blonde. I've had it professionally done. Oh, I really don't like that. Um, and it's just um, my skin tone's off. It doesn't match. I'm having surgery this Saturday. It's today's Thursday. I'm having surgery this Saturday in two days. I'm so stinking excited. I really hope it helps. I really hope it helps in any way. At least 
stopped me from getting worse. Um, so stay tuned for part three and I'll try to do something more with this. Okay, thanks.